Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Tarot So Fine. Today I'm doing a general tarot card reading for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the second week of June 2020. And uh, I'll be using the Tarot de la Nuit for your reading. So this is for uh, Monday the 8th to Sunday the 14th, give or take. Time is fluid. Also, I'll be adding a bonus card from the universe has your back just for extra information that might help you so let's see what the Sagittarians need to know for the second week of June 2020 what does Sagittarius need to know for the second week of June 2020 First card is the Fool card. Some new beginnings. Second card is the Eight of Swords. Third card is the Knight of Cups. Fourth card is the King of Wands. Bottom card is the Queen of Wands. Interesting. We have the king and the queen here in your fire sign. Looks like there may be a new beginning uh, in a relationship. My cat, Phoenix. Um, Underneath the bottom card, the Queen of Wands, is the Five of Cups. So I feel like it's relevant to your reading because we have the Eight of Swords here, and this talks about being stuck in your head. Um, I'm thinking that maybe some of you not all of you, some of you may have uh, been in a relationship with someone or a marriage or a, you know, a solid connection and something happens, something disappointing happened or maybe you had a chance to connect with somebody that you felt was your equal but it didn't happen for some reason or something went wrong. So you're stuck in your head, but um, you, you're you both here. The king and the queen are both in your reading, so I don't think it's over. Usually the five of cups, it has three cups built and um, two cups upright. So we have the two of cups hidden in your reading and the Three of Cups overspelt. Three of Cups can talk about uh, connecting with others. You know, it can be a, about reunions or just having a, a good, strong bond with some someone or people. But those are, are spelt. So what I'm getting at is Maybe you had a chance to connect with this person in the past, but something went wrong. You missed the chance. You missed the boat here, because there's a boat in the distance. But um, there's two cups. Two of cups is uh, seeing eye to eye, having a bond with another person, a special bond. So I feel like... Um, You may have to dive into your feelings more. You know, maybe that's what was missing before. Maybe you didn't open up to this person. Maybe you didn't open up to this person from your heart before. See, the Knight of Cups here, he acts from the heart. 
He's propelled forward from his feelings of love. So maybe your approach needs to be a little different this time. I feel like it's not over. I think there's still something there. I sense a really strong yearning uh, for this person. Yeah, very strong uh, yearning for this person, uh, a strong longing for this person. To you, they are your star. You know, you see them, at, you put them on a pedestal. But you're very uh, stressed out about it. You feel like you can't do it. Maybe you don't know if you can approach them the right way to make it happen this time around. But the uh, Fool card is saying it, it's worth taking the leap of faith, you know. It's worth trying to give it another shot. Because maybe now you know better how to approach them. Because the fool has already gone through all of the other uh, major arcana. So um, it may be new, but you've gained some knowledge along the way. And maybe you just, you know, maybe you will know how to approach this person in a different way, a new way. And, um, yeah, that's what I'm getting here. Use your passion and your heart to try to um, give it another chance, this connection that you have with them so that's what I'm getting it's a definitely a love reading here <laughs> so let me know if this is your story so now I'm going to pull a card from the universe has your deck let's see if there's any added information to go along with this reading or maybe it's something else that you need maybe it's a hint that will help you out in this situation. So what card do we need for Sagittarius here? Whoa, way too many. Ooh, way too many cards. I sense a real uh, nervousness here. you get. It says, when I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world I see. So what I'm getting from this is that you need to take a new approach. You need to have a little more confidence that you can, you can make this happen. I think it goes very well with this um, Eight of Swords here. The only thing that's stopping you is your mind here. So you need to change how you how you view this, how you view the situation. I strongly feel that you need a little more confidence here. Uh, the way you think can sabotage a situation. I'd say 
take a chance, take that leap with an open mind and uh, move ahead with your passion and your heart because I, I feel like you really want this so if you don't try you'll never know nothing will ever happen so it's worth taking that chance if it's something you really want if it's the person you really want then uh, yeah give it a shot try it stay positive go in thinking you're going to win this person so that's what I'm getting with your reading Ari, uh, Sagittarius I meant so I hope you enjoyed that if you did give me a like leave me a comment share subscribe and we'll see you for the following reading